this line. Oh, we're filming. Okay. Um, January 2008, C2. It's question nine, more trigonometry. Well, the, after the, yes, yeah, right. The diagram shows the curve y equals 2 sine x, the values of x such that they're right state the coordinates of the maximum and minimum points. Sine x, when is sine x a maximum value? At 90 and minus 90. At 90 and minus 90, thanks Tom. Uh, but this is 2 sine x. Does, so what, what does that mean as a transformation? If you've got sine x and you transform it to 2 sine x, what's happened? So stretch oh. that way, okay. So instead of being, we've still got the points here at plus 90 and minus 90, but instead of being at plus 1 and minus 1, they're now at 2, two and minus 2. So the maximum value, the maximum point is at 90 and 2. I'm just getting a close on. Okay, so the minimum oh. point. Is that minus 90? And minus 2. Is that zoom? Yeah. So I do. Alright, don't go crazy for me. What going crazy? I'm zooming okay, in. Okay, that's, that's part 1. We have to do that. That was 2 marks. Part 2. Now says the diagram shows the same curve and the line y equals k. It's over here, Colin. I am doing it. Um, the smallest positive solution of the equation, 2 sine x equals k, is denoted by alpha. State in terms of alpha and in the range minus 180 to plus 180, another solution of the equation. They're wanting us to use the symmetry of the graph here, aren't they? So if that solution there is alpha, another solution of the equation is the other point where they intersect. So it's that point. So we need to state what the <coughs> x value is of that point. I, well, it'd be 135 if alpha was 40. Um, yeah, but it's not necessarily. So, what did you do to get 135? Uh, added it down to 90. Well, found what A is and added it to 90. But I don't know what okay. it is. Would it be 180 minus A? It would be 180 minus whatever this figure is, but so alpha. So the other solution would be 180 minus alpha. Okay. Now the, the next part of the question says one solution of the equation 2 sine x equals minus k. Well, if it's minus k, that means we've now got a line down here at the point minus k. Um, so what's it going to be? What's it going to be the answer? It's going to be okay. It's going to be this point down here, which will be minus alpha. There we go. Um, three. Find the x coordinates of the points where the curve intersects the curve y equals two minus three plus squared x for values in that range. What's it asked us to do? Corey, can I just ask you, from here, your finger appears to be right across the middle. It really isn't. Okay, right. It's a bit wobbly, though. You might need to put it down. I'm it's fine. It's not very steady up there. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Leave Corey alone. He's doing his best. I'm just... Yeah, he's sobbing now. Right. Okay, no, you're looking at the floor, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't care the age. We've got two lines. We want to find where they intersect. <laughs> so we're looking for the point of intersection of two side x. And 2 minus 3 cos squared x. What are we going to do? No, we're going to eliminate the equation. We're going to eliminate y and we're going to say 2 sine x equals 2 minus 3 cos squared x. Right. How do we solve an equation like this? Sub sine x for 1 minus cos squared. You, you, you're so close. We can't sub sine x for 1 minus cos squared. Cos we could, we could, cos we could do cos squared because we don't know what sine x is in terms of cos squared. Oh, right, yeah. But we do have, we wrote it on the first page today, we do have that sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. That must be true. So cos squared x 
must be 1 minus sine squared x. So we can sub that into here, which would give us 2 sine x is 2 minus 3 times 1 minus sine squared x. We're not there yet, but what kind of a thing is this? Stop. So yeah, it's stealth on. quadratic. It's a stealth quadratic. It's a quadratic in terms of sine x. Are you concentrating, Kevin? So we've got 2 sine x is 2 minus 3. Um, what, will we expand this? What are we going to have? Uh, 3 minus 3 sine squared. So minus 3 times the minus sine squared, so plus 3 sine squared x. We want to make it look like a quadratic, we want to get everything onto one side. 3 sine squared x, take away the 2 sine x. Um, we've got 2, take away 3, so minus 1. Wouldn't it be great if we could factorise this? <laughs> That's his left. No, it doesn't. So we've got 0 is 3t squared minus 2t minus 1. Does it factorise? Does it? I haven't decided yet. Yeah, go on. It will. Okay. How? 3t. 3t. And t. And it must be 1 and 1. And it must be. A minus there and a plus there. Yeah. Minus 3t plus t is minus 2t. Great. So t is minus a third t equals 1. Hey, it wasn't about t. It was about sine sin 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 x. So sine x is minus a third plus sine x is 1. We're nearly there. Now, let's deal with this one first. If sine x equals 1, then what does x equal? And in fact, that's the only value that we're after, aren't we? Because we're only looking between minus 180 and 180. That's what the question started with. Um, calculator? We'd have 3t plus 1 equals 0. So if we divide by the 3, we would have minus 3. I mean, if we need to use sine x, but you can't get rid of minus 30. If you just do sine x equals 1, and you divide it by 3. No. No. It, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't have that relationship. Uh, inverse sine of minus a third. Have we done it? Minus 0.3. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, you're still in radians, yeah. Minus 19. Minus 19. 0.47. And what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Turn into radians. No. Times by minus 1. No. Some cost are, are we going to do the cast diagram, maybe? Oh, that'll do. Oh, crazy. Right, okay. So I moved the camera jiggled. So we've got sine and it was negative, so we mark the angle of 19.47 in the two quadrants where sine is negative. And between minus 180 and plus 180, we've got one value of minus 19.47, and we've got the other value that will be there, which is. Come off. Say half. <laughs> yeah. One hundred. Yeah. You're one hundred and nine point four seven. Wrong way. We're going from yeah. there. Round to that. So it'll be minus one hundred and sixty. Sixty point five three. Okay. So finally, we say our answers are x is minus. Did it tell us what accuracy? Right. Just to be consistent, let's do it to one decimal place. Minus one six two point five minus nineteen point five and ninety degrees. There we go. Done. Right, you can stop anytime. How do I do it?
Passa, velho.